Introduction to Vectors. So a vector is something with both magnitude and direction. And the best way to visualize that is with an arrow. So if we draw up our x, y axis, we can see if we draw an arrow, this will this will define a vector because it has it has a magnitude as in the length of the arrow and a direction because the arrow is pointing in a certain way. If it was three units along the x-axis and one unit up the y-axis, this would fully define our vector. And there's quite a few different ways we can write vectors. Uh, let's call um, the origin A and the point in which the vector is reaching B. We could call the vector A with a lowercase a and a squiggle under the a. So that's one way to write our vector. We could also write that it's going from a to b and writing an arrow above the above the ab going from a to b so it's important so it would be different to this one here. This is a different vector so it's not they're not equal to each other. You can also write the vector in th this particular vector as three comma one, but I'm not gonna write vectors like that because we can confuse those for points. And a more common way to write them is with a column matrix as three one. So I'll be tending to write uh, vectors like that in the column matrix form. You can also use curly brackets for the column matrix or just the normal parenthesis but I, I like using the square brackets and, and that's what I'll I'll be doing. Later we're going to see you can actually also write the vector as 3i plus 1j and this is called this component form but we're going to look more at this later in another video. Vectors have a special property that because they're only defined by their magnitude and the direction that moving a vector about the x-y axis actually has no effect. So a vector with an x component of 3 and a y component of 1 like this is also the same as if we could start drawing it we could start drawing it at the, uh, on the y-axis of 1 and as long as it had the same uh, magnitude in both the x and the y direction, these vectors are exactly the same. So there's infinite amount of vectors that are actually the same as this one. A vector that starts at the origin actually has a special name called the position vector. So this one here is your position vector. And any vector that doesn't start at the origin uh, is a displacement vector. Also, let's say all of these vectors were the vector A. We can, if we have the exact same magnitude for the vector, but pointing in the, in the exact opposite direction, so the same magnitude, just pointing in the opposite direction. So imagine drawing the arrowhead on the tail. Uh, this vector actually equals minus a. Also, let's talk about unit vectors. So a unit vector is a vector of magnitude 1, which just means that its length is one. So if it was going to there, that'd be a distance of one. And there's an infinite amount of unit vectors because we could draw them, we could draw infinite amount all with magnitude one. But there's two in particular that are important. And that's the one going directly to the right by unit of one 
which we call i hat and one that's going vertically up with a magnitude of one and this is called j hat and later on we're going to see how we can use these vectors to define define other things Thank you.